FMC Corporation is an American chemical manufacturing company headquartered in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, which originated as an insecticide producer in 1883 and later diversified into other industries. In 1941, at the beginning of the U.S. involvement in World War II, the company received a contract to design and build amphibious tracked landing vehicles for the United States Department of War, and afterwards, the company continued to diversify its products. It was this corporation that, in 1961, sent the M113 to the United States Army Europe. In this video, we are going to take a look at the M113 and its many variants. Before we get started, if you do enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. When mentioning the M113 series of armored personnel carriers, it is difficult to avoid superlatives. For the type has become the most widely produced and utilized armored personnel carrier of the Western world. Its development began in 1956 by the FMC Corporation and the first prototype was produced in 1957. Since production commenced in 1961, well over 32,000 M113s and its derivatives have been received by the US Army alone. To date, it is estimated that over 80,000 vehicles in the M113 family have been produced and used by over 50 countries worldwide, making it one of the most widely used armored fighting vehicles of all time. The M113's versatility spawned a wide variety of adaptations that live on worldwide and in US service. These variants currently represent about half of US armored vehicles. The main feature of the M113 is a fully enclosed hull of aluminum alloy armor construction. It was the first mass-produced armored vehicle which utilized aluminum armor. Up to 40% of vehicle components are manufactured from light alloys. The aluminum hull had a far greater rigidity than steel. It allowed them to reduce the number of reinforcing structures and create a more usable interior. However, protection of the M113 was rather limited. All-around protection is against 7.62mm ball rounds and artillery shell splinters. At close range, the M113 would be penetrated by 12.7mm heavy machine gun rounds. The M113 was never designed to provide a complete defensive environment for the passengers. It was designed as an armored troop transport vehicle that could carry an infantry squad up close to the front and discharge them rapidly, then retreat. The M113 has an internal arrangement which became standard for most of the modern armored personnel carriers. The engine compartment is at the front of the hull from the right side, while the driving compartment is from the left. The middle and rear part of the hull are occupied by personnel. This armored personnel carrier accommodates 11 troops who would enter and leave via the rear ramp that was completed with emergency exit doors. Furthermore, one large hatch is mounted in the roof over the troop compartment. The main armament of the M113 is a 12.7mm machine gun mounted over the commander's hatch. It is used to engage both ground and low-flying air targets. The first batch of M113s was completed with a Chrysler 75M petrol engine delivering 209 horsepower. It was coupled with the General Motors TX200 manual gearbox. The vehicle has good cross-country mobility over sand, snow, and mud. It is also amphibious. On water, it is propelled by spinning its tracks. Over the years, the size and weight of the vehicle has grown, and numerous components have been altered to accommodate that growth, but the basic outline has remained the same. There were several M113 improvement programs for the U.S. Army. The M113A1 entered service in 1964. Its main difference from the base model was a General Motors CV53T V6 diesel engine developing 275 horsepower instead of the petrol one. Furthermore, this variant had an Allison automatic gearbox with four forward gears and two reverse gears. The M113A2 replaced the M113A1 in production since 1979. It has improved engine cooling equipment and reinforced suspension. A total of 5,300 M113 and 12,700 M113A1 armored personnel carriers were upgraded to the A2 standard in the US. The M113A3 was adopted by the US Army in 1986. It was the latest production model. 
The A3 generation of the M113 family of vehicles is a major, comprehensive upgrade for the entire range of M113 variants. The intent of this upgrade was to increase the overall performance of the US Army's M113 fleet. While previous M113 models were considered to have adequate firepower for an armored personnel carrier, their protection was considered lacking and their mobility attributes outdated. Starting in 1987, all new-built M113s were made to A3 standard, and all upgrades have been to A3 since 1989. The upgrade, collectively known as the RISE upgrade, meant the A3 was to be fitted with small liners, a more powerful engine and transmission, new controls in the driver's station, external fuel cells, shock absorbent seats, new brakes, and provisions for applique armor. The M113A3's appearance is cubic, with a well-sloped glacius plate and an inwardly sloped rear. A large, rectangle trim vane is fitted to the top of the glacius plate, with Pioneer tools stowed above it, and two pairs of round headlights with loop-like collision guards at the top of each side. Clusters of smoke grenade dischargers are often fitted to the upper glacius plate as well. The lower glacius plate has two small towing hitches, and a cylindrical hub at each side houses the slightly protruding drive sprocket fixtures. In this standard configuration, the sides are flat, bare, and totally featureless. On the rear end of the vehicle is a ramp, which has a door in the left side that is hinged on the right, and is flanked by the primary recognition feature of the A3 models, two large, protruding fuel cells. The roof has numerous isolated fixtures, including several cylindrical hitches for attaching applique armor and other accessories. The middle rear of the roof is dominated by a cargo hatch, in which up to four men can stand at once. At the middle front center of the roof is the commander's cupola, which has a skate mount for a machine gun and five vision block periscopes. At the front of the roof, from left to right, are the circular driver's hatch, the engine ventilation louver, and the engine exhaust louver. The M113A3's skate mount can be fitted with a variety of different weapons, including a 7.62mm M240 machine gun, a 12.7mm M2HB heavy machine gun, or a 40mm MK19 automatic grenade launcher. Up to four men can fight while mounted from the cargo hatch, which is often augmented with a pair of gun-shielded 7.62mm machine guns. A wide variety of other weapons have been fitted to M113A3s, including light anti-tank guided missile launchers, 90mm recoilless rifles, and 60mm mortars. The electronics on the A3 are improved over the A2, though they remain austere. The driver's station has new controls and gauges, and image intensification night vision equipment as standard features, along with new radios. Propulsion is provided by a General Motors 6V53T diesel V6 engine with 275 horsepower, coupled with an Allison X204 or X204A automatic transmission with four forward and two reverse gears. These differential transmissions allow the M113A3 to pivot steer, which was a new capability for the M113 family of vehicles on the A3 introduction. The torsion bar suspension is the same as that introduced in the A2 and can carry a payload of 22,000 pounds, 10 tons, in addition to the vehicle's own weight. The running gear is the same as on all previous M113s, with a front drive sprocket, a rear idler, no return rollers, and T-130 or T-150 tracks. There are also band tracks available for the A3s, which increase automotive performance and decrease weight. As with all prior M113 variants, there are five drum-shaped road wheels on each side. With 275 horsepower propelling over 27,000 pounds, 12 tons, the standard M113A3 has a top speed of 45 miles per hour, or 72 kilometers per hour. The fuel cells carry 360 liters of fuel, allowing 300 miles or 480 kilometers range. If band tracks are fitted, the A3's top speed and range are immediately increased to 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour, and 400 miles, 640 kilometers range. The A3 is over 17 feet, 5 meters long, over 8 and a half, 2 and a half meters wide, and just over 8 feet, 2 and a half meters tall. 
It can tackle a 60% gradient, a 30% side slope, over a half meter vertical obstacle, or a one and a half meter trench. It has almost half a meter of ground clearance and is fully amphibious without preparation. A unit cost of a new built A3 was approximately $300,000, while a conversion from A2 to A3 costs $160,000. New built models are no longer available, though A3 production facilities are still open for production. A few years ago, the U.S. Army launched an armored multipurpose vehicle program to replace in-service A3s and some of its variants. A turretless version of the M2 A3 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle was selected. What are your thoughts on the M113 vehicles? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications. Thanks for watching.